Hey everybody, how you doing today? I have a special video for you. Now this is the Pixel 2 Android 11. And as you can see, I'm recording through 4K, uh, 30 FPS, and I'm gonna show you how to do the registry editor uh, to actually make things uh, cooler for your PC and probably uh, less noisy. <laughs> so here, as you can see, all you have to do first to go to the registry editor, you type in registry and you go here, you click on it. Once you click on it, uh, you're gonna find this area over here. Click on H key local machine, go down to system, click on system, click on current control set, then click on control. After that, go down and click on power once you click on power click on power setting and after that you have to keep uh, on track with me all right so after that you have to look for 545 in your uh, registry editor once you see this number click on it and then you have to go to the folder BE337238 0D82 Okay, just keep in mind this number. Once you find this number, click on it. Now, once you click on this th thing over here, uh, what you're gonna have over here is attributes. So go into attributes, right click, click on modify. Once you click on modify, you will see the value here set as Two. So in your PC, you'll see it, uh, the value sheet as one. So I have to set it on two. Okay, once you set it on number two, click OK. Once you click on OK, what's going to happen is, let's go back. By the way, Pixel 3 rocks, or Pixel 2, excuse me. This camera is beautiful, 4K, no issues at all. So go here, type on power, you have to go edit power plan once you go to the edit power plan go to the change advanced power and then kaboom let me just actually zoom to you over here uh, so here once you go there you will see this setting activated which is in power in processor power management the last option over here is processor performance boost mode click on it you'll see that it actually previously was on aggressive so once you see it as in aggressive just put it on disabled okay so it's disabled on battery and disabled on plug-in both ways great excellent once you do that click OK and before you click on OK, you actually can customize this through your setting here in power performance. So you can put it on power saving. And this is actually going to put your maximum power saving in addition to be have a disabled turbo boost, which is actually going to extend your battery life to like, for example, the maximum the PC can handle or the laptop. So, uh, for example, uh, this Zephyrus G14 can hit... 10 plus uh, hours of battery time in, in, on uh, saving mode. So if you're doing casual work, casual stuff, you can handle that amount of, uh, you know, energy. But you put it, if, you, if you're willing to have it disabled, and also you want to play video games, it's preferable for you to put it in high performance, as you can see here, it's, it's set on high performance. At the same time, you disable the processor performance boost mode both in battery and plug-in because you will plug your uh, battery at the same time so you don't want to get this 90s and 80s and high 80s and 90s and 100 you don't want to get into that dangerous area you want to keep it on 70s at maximum 79 probably I don't know I'm not sure if you're gonna hit the 80 but I'm pretty sure that is the 70 around the 70s 60s most likely so that is very important if you want to save your battery life you want to pro prolong your battery life you want to you want to use this laptop for a longer period of time and use this pc pc because it's very beautiful pc i know it's really bad to uh, actually waste your money killing this guy over here 
uh, in a, you know, no, don't do it, just don't do it. Anyways, since I just explained this to you, uh, and since we are actually done with this, let's look at the uh, battery performance now. We have around six hours. Now it's in the, I have six hours and five minutes, but I'm actually on NVIDIA GPU because I set it on performance. And once you do it in performance, what you're gonna do in, in order to uh, uh, like extremely use this uh, method is to go to NVIDIA control panel because you don't wanna work if you set it on performance. And let, this is a tip for you guys. This is a tip for you. So if you want to go for the saving mode or battery sa extreme battery saving mode, it's better for you to disable the NVIDIA here and put it on integrated graphics, okay? But if you want to go for the performance mode, if you want to play games, just go here and put it on the high performance mode so you can activate the RTX, the, the great RTX uh, uh, 2060 in this laptop you will be able to play the RTX 2060 without you know, exhausting the CPU. That's why we did the disabled uh, turbo boost. Um, yeah, so I think now you get the full picture when it comes to the registry editor. I hope everybody, uh, a lot of people ask me this question so I had to deliver this. All right, everybody. Uh, now you actually know how to do the registry editor through your laptop computer, so I want you to share uh, in the comment section below your experience. So whatever laptop you have, just just say the laptop, say the spec, and use this uh, registry method. And please let us know what type of thermals that you, you're you getting uh, on what game that you're actually playing. So, you know, we have some experience with future laptops, especially if you have a Ryzen uh, 7, the newest version, the 4000 series. Uh, also, soon Intel is going to drop a newer uh, processor. So yeah, let's do this also and see if it actually can compete with Ryzen. So thank you guys. I uh, love you everybody. Take care and see you later.